Hello everybody, it's me Alex Hunter and today I wanted to do a video about, well it's a question that I've just been going through my mind a few days now. What is the best Godzilla movies for beginners? Let's say you have friends or children or family members that you wanted to get into Godzilla. You want to show the franchise that you really do enjoy and you love. What would be the best movies to show them to get into the franchise? Now. I've got 10 suggestions, but that doesn't mean I think these are the 10 best Godzilla movies. These are just the 10 best movies when it comes to getting people into the fandom, into just introducing them to this world of Godzilla. Uh, they're not in any really particular order, they're just more, most ones I think would be best. There's just there's 10 of them, but it's not like a ranked list, it's more just these are 10 suggestions I think for beginners. But anyway, let's begin, shall we, with number one and the most obvious one to start out with, Godzilla. Well, the American Area, it is also a perfectly fine movie to start out with. I would definitely suggest that they go with the 1954 original classic. It is an absolute triumph of the film for the time it was made and also just showing the horrors of nuclear war. It is undoubtedly the best Godzilla movie that has ever been made. Now that being said, it won't be the most favourite movie of many people because well, yeah, it's a very, very dark movie. You have to be in the right mood to watch this movie. So it won't be many people's favourite Godzilla movie, but if you wanted to show them the best Godzilla movie, then, well, show them the 1954 classic. However, I would suggest this not be the first Godzilla movie for young children or, let's say, just casual movie-going fans like your mates who you just want to show them a Godzilla movie. This movie is just too dark and depressing for kids and, well, it's if you're going to be watching a Godzilla movie with mates, you know, you want to watch something that's more fun than this. Really, this is the first Godzilla movie for, well, those who are really into movies and you want to just introduce them saying, hey, Godzilla isn't just this goofy people in suits fighting each other movie. You know, this actually started out as a very serious movie and, well, the first movie is undoubtedly the best, objectively. My second suggestion would be the most recent Godzilla movie to come out, Godzilla King of the Monsters. While this movie definitely has a lot of problems, it is undoubtedly the best Hollywood Godzilla movie that has been made. I mean, there was only three of them, but you know, but you know, third time's a charm. It is probably one of the best movies to show to casual audiences and also to kids. The pace really slows down and there is plenty of Godzilla action, as well as a great way to introduce to some of the most iconic kaijus in the Godzilla franchise, that being King Ghidorah, Mothra and Rodan. And you don't necessarily need to watch Godzilla 2014 to get this movie. It's sort of a soft reboot to the Monsterverse. This movie is not perfect by any sense of the word, but when it comes to sheer Hollywood just fun and action movies, Godzilla King of the Monsters is a great starting Godzilla King of the Monsters is a great starting place to show where Godzilla is now, but it's also a great way to interest casual moviegoers and especially children into getting into the Godzilla franchise. My third suggestion would be Godzilla 2000. Now I don't personally rate this Godzilla movie very highly, but I will admit, as it comes to first Godzilla movies, it is probably one of the best ones to start with. It is in the perfect middle ground of Goofy's fun Godzilla movie, but also serious at the same time. Considering that this movie was made in a rush in response to the 1998 movie, they actually do pull off quite a lot in it. Godzilla has plenty of screen time and his redesign is one of the best in the entire franchise and also introduces a lot of people to how well how Godzilla is. He isn't this crime-fighting superhero character that he is depicted in later Showa movies. He's more this middle ground character that's not evil but not good at the same time. He's a force of nature. This movie also introduces people into the very, well, common plotline in the Godzilla movie of the alien invasion. With the introduction of Augur, and while Augur isn't one of the most iconic kaijus, he is a good starter villain kaiju to go with, and it will ease people into the more bigger, more famous kaijus like Mechagodzilla in King Ghidorah and Mothra. While not being one of the best Godzilla movies, and it's not even the best Godzilla movie in the Millennium Era, it is definitely a great starting point for new fans. My fourth suggestion would be Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. The introduction of Godzilla's arch-nemesis, King Ghidorah, this is also another great one to show to casual moviegoings and especially children, because, well, it's not overly serious and there's a lot of fun in it, and it's got plenty of monster action, but also has that 60s shower charm to it. It's a little bit cheesy, and some of the things that the kaiju do are, well, just goofy as all hell, but there is plenty of just fun in this movie. It's not too serious, and it's also not too goofy at the same time. While it does take a little while to get going, and Godzilla and Rodan spend most of the movie fighting each other and don't have that much screen time, the introduction of Ghidorah is 
probably one of the best highlights of the entire Godzilla franchise with all this build up around it it really introduces it really does introduce why King Ghidorah is the most famous Godzilla adversary and it's probably the best movie to show to symbolize well everything in the Showa era because yes you have Godzilla being the villain but also as the good guy and you also have him destroying people and being the allegory for nuclear destruction but also being a hero of fighting evil monsters and all that sort of stuff and there's also a monster brawl and you know it shows where the Showa era is going but also shows how the Showa era was it's a very good middle ground point for the Godzilla franchise especially in the Showa era so it's the best middle ground movie to show if you want to show people well a good Showa era movie my fifth suggestion is the most insane Godzilla movie ever made, Godzilla Final Wars. This is a great movie to show with mates. If you're going to have mates around and you're going to have a few drinks and you want to show them a Godzilla movie, then this is the perfect one. It is just balls to the wall insane and you will be laughing at and with this movie at the same time while just loving every insane moment of it. While celebrating Godzilla's 50th anniversary, you don't really need to be a Godzilla fan and know all the lore to get into this movie. Yes, it has an abundance of previous kaijus that have shown up before, but this is a technically a reboot. It's a soft reboot of the entire Millennium Era again. So you don't really need to know anything. You just need to know that there's a lot of kaiju and Godzilla's around and he's an unstoppable monster that's just going to beat them all to hell. While the middle section is a bit slow and drags on a bit, the first third, and especially when Godzilla wakes up, are just an absolute blast. It is basically what happens when you put Matrix in with Godzilla, and it is just insane. You have karate, you have martial arts, you have Godzilla, and you have just... It's just a combination of every single era of Godzilla. You have the goofiness of the show era, while Godzilla is being an anti-hero, like in the Heisei era, and also just the another reboot of the Millennium era. It is one of those movies that you can just put on and just have an absolute ball watching with mates. It is just such fun. And I mean, as you can see when I showed this to Stephen and Anthony from Vote Sax 07 and Two Penny Milk, when we were just watching this movie, we were just laughing and having an absolute ball. It's a great movie to just show with mates. My sixth suggestion, and I haven't had a Hey Sigma movie suggested yet, so I'm going to start with Return of Godzilla. While this isn't necessarily a bad movie to show to children, I wouldn't make this their first Godzilla movie because there is a lot of dark theming and a few very horrifying scenes in it, especially during the start of the giant ticks. But for everyone else, this is a perfectly good start for the Godzilla movie. The special effects being in the 70s aren't, aren't obviously up to today's standards, but they aren't in Showa era levels where it's clearly a person in a suit destroying models. If you wanted to show someone a solo Godzilla movie that isn't Godzilla, then this would probably be the best one to show them. It has plenty of Godzilla in it, while also showing how a Godzilla can adapt to different eras, because this is basically a Godzilla Cold War movie that was showing Japan's place during the Cold War, having two giant superpowers with America and Russia basically pointing guns at each other and each one not wanting to fire and Japan just being stuck in the middle of it, not really knowing what to do. It's a great movie to get you on Godzilla's side. While showing what a destructive force he can be, it also shows him as, well, kind of sympathetic, especially the ending. I remember when I watched this when I was young, I absolutely cried and bawled during the ending. And that was also because it was the American recut with Raymond Burr, so it had that scream at the end. But yeah, while it's very hard to actually find the Raymond Burr version these days, the original Japanese cut is the superior movie. It's a good Godzilla movie to show to people, to show Godzilla is more than just, well, a guy in rubber suit fighting another guy in rubber suits with models and all that sort of stuff. It's a very serious Godzilla movie, but it's also a very watchable Godzilla movie. My seventh suggestion is also in the Heisei era, and it is Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. While this is in the middle of the Heisei era, you really don't have to watch the other Heisei movies to get what's going on in this movie. The only thing that's really just out of the blue is obviously Mecha King Ghidorah, but they just explain that at the start very quickly, so there's not really much that you miss. You don't need to see the other Heisei movies to get this movie. It is up there as one of the best Godzilla movies ever made, and really does do a great job introducing a lot of parts of Godzilla that's probably going to be introduced in Godzilla vs. Kong whenever the hell that comes out. When we have Mecha Godzilla, we have Godzilla's son and Rodan, it really does update them and introduce them in a very modern and, well, interesting light. And it also shows Godzilla in the best possible way, because while he is technically the antagonist of this movie, you are rooting for him the entire time. And also shows when it comes to Godzilla and the military, isn't just people that's like, oh, Godzilla is bad, we must destroy him with our big fighting robots. 
because it's probably the best use of Mickey in the entire Heisei era, and there's a great way to introduce people into this character. While being in the midpoint of a franchise, you can just watch it and it explains everything that you need to know about Godzilla, Godzilla's son, Rodan and Mechagodzilla. It's a fine jumping on point in the midpoint of a series, which is weird. My first suggestion is Son of Godzilla. Now, this is the Godzilla movie that you show to little kids. Like, this is the first Godzilla movie you show to, well... Let's say you have a five or six year old son or daughter and you want to show them their first Godzilla movie. Son of Godzilla is that perfect movie. It is so child friendly. While also being a little bit scary at the same time. I mean, Kumonga, I remember what's scaring me as a child, especially that cave scene. And in a way, I think it's good to scare kids from a young age, but not traumatize them, obviously. It is a very kid-friendly Godzilla movie and it's perfect to show to the young kids as their first Godzilla movie. It gets them into thinking Godzilla is a hero, while also not being boring, having plenty of cute scenes with Minilla and Godzilla just hanging out. And also the human cast are fine. If you should, now, if you showed this too well your mates, they would absolutely laugh at it because this is just where you see the absolute turning point of the Godzilla franchise, where Godzilla goes full kid-friendly superhero. It's a good laugh, it's a good movie to riff on and have a laugh with, but when it's going to be with young kids, it's a perfectly good first young child Godzilla movie. You know, this is one that they will watch and then they'll want to play with Godzilla toys or something like that. My next suggestion is another Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla movie. It is the first one, Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla. Again, this is a good one to show to kids as well as casual fans because while it being Godzilla's 25th anniversary movie and Godzilla is full-blown superhero, it sort of shows the best of Godzilla in every way without relying too much on stock footage. Well, there's hardly any stock footage in it. You get two Godzillas for the price of one and you get Godzilla being full-blown superhero while also having the evil Godzilla, well, Mechagodzilla, going around destroying stuff and you also see Anguirus and King Caesar. It's a good Godzilla movie to show that Godzilla is more than just rubber monsters fighting each other. It has some good human characters on the side, and this human plot will definitely keep you interested throughout the entire times that Godzilla and Mechagodzilla are not on screen. It does, well being the 25th anniversary movie, it does plenty to celebrate Godzilla's past while also looking at, well, the future and showing what Godzilla is now. It's definitely a fun watch and it's definitely good for kids to watch to get them interested in Godzilla being the hero as well and also showing the evil Mechagodzilla when he likely shows up in Godzilla vs Kong. And my final suggestion would be King Kong vs Godzilla, mostly because of what's coming up next whenever the hell Godzilla vs Kong comes out. This would be a good movie to show of where this rivalry started and why these two are the two most iconic movie monsters in all of cinema. It is cheesy, it is goofy and it is very very cheap at times, but it is also so much fun fun. Both kaiju get their moment to shine and it doesn't really pick a side. Yes, Godzilla is technically the antagonist for this one, but it shows Kong and but it shows Kong and Godzilla in kind of equal light. They both get around about equal screen time and you root for both of them in the big climactic final battle, which is probably one of the best in the entire franchise. But yeah, King Kong vs Godzilla is a great first Godzilla movie to show well this is what Godzilla vs Kong is gonna look like, but well much more budget behind it and probably a lot more CGI and a lot more serious. Unless they have a scene where there's two toys fighting behind a mountain, I would absolutely love to see if they do that, they're probably not going to do that. It's also the first Godzilla movie in colour and also the first King Kong movie in colour. Which is a good thing because, well, you know, sometimes people don't like to watch black and white movies, they just prefer colour movies. It's a, clash it's a fun time while also being a Clash of the Titans that shows what Godzilla and Kong used to be while also getting us ready for, well, when these two eventually do clash, whenever the hell that will be, in Godzilla vs Kong. And those were my 10 suggestions for Godzilla movies for beginners. Tell me what you think in the comments below and tell me what your suggestions would be for the 10 movies for beginners if you wanted to introduce people into Godzilla. Let me know in the comments below and all that good stuff. I have a Patreon and, you know, subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And I'm Axe the Hunter and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.